this new song um, is my new project, it's my new single after my album. It's called Summer Burning and it's produced by DJ Poet, who's a very big producer from the US and very lucky enough to um, actually have him uh, produce this song. So very excited. Um, I can't wait to see the reaction of uh, people when, when, they, when they actually hear it. The chemistry has been been positive. It's been really, really good. The vibe has been really good. I'm working with Colby on the song "What You're Waiting For" and the video as well. He's such a cool guy. You know, we got along really, really well. He made me feel really comfortable. You, you think at first, yeah, you're gonna meet a super duper star, and, and like, wow, what are you gonna be like? Are they gonna be stuck up? Or are they gonna be this or that? But no, they're they're so humble and really, really, really open and and down to earth. So I was very blessed to be able to spend time and work with them. It taught me a lot about recording, production, and and just how their life works. There's not much difference in a way. I mean, you're, you're in different countries, of course. There's different ways of doing it. Um, I mean, um, America is, is huge. There's there's so many people that you need to reach out to, and I, I guess the procedures are similar um, as to uh, if you were to promote an album here as well. Just over there, let's say in Malaysia, you have like say 10 radio stations you need to visit. Over there, you have hundreds hundreds and poss poss possibly thousands of stations and people you need to network with. So um, I think over there it's probably um, a longer journey and just a lot more a lot more things that you need to do maybe. My experience in the US was, was a great one. I, I was there to promote TakeOver and I made a lot of good connections, did a lot of networking with um, the, the people in the radio industry and the media there as well. So it was a good introduction. I bumped into a few, a few celebrities, uh, which was pretty cool. Um, I bumped into J. Cole and I don't know if you remember our senior hall. You know, <laughs> that was pretty cool. I love fashion. I've always loved fashion. I love dressing up. I love dressing up for different occasions and even, you know, um, when I go work out, like I make sure like I look good go working out. Philosophy of fashion really is an expression of who you are and for me, um, uh, fashion is being comfortable with yourself. You know, you can wear anything you want to wear, but if you're not comfortable with yourself, if you're not confident with yourself, then it may, you may not look good wearing it. So really, it's just being comfortable with who you are and, and, and what you want to wear. And don't force yourself to wear something you don't want to wear. I'd just like to say what's up to all my fans. Hey, um, thank you so much for supporting my music. And hey, if you want to um, know what's going on with, uh, with Ms. Nina, what I'm doing, what's, what's coming up next, you can always uh, um, look on to my Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash uh, official Ms. Nina, or you can follow me on Twitter, that's Ms. Nina1780.